let's talk about how these hoes be lying okay this is probably the most insane story that i've seen before so we'll start right here police arrest a woman who faked her own kidnapping to extort her mother that's horrific okay like again i don't have any kids or anything like that okay but i could put myself in that situation okay one of your kids gets kidnapped okay that is probably the most traumatic thing you can think of just the helplessness that's associated with that that's a heavy 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 burden but okay she does this intentionally she she sets this up and this is the fourth time that she's done it fourth time and the fact that she's 30 oh my god my guy, what the hell is going on here? A terrifying video shows a woman blindfolded and blood dripping from her mouth. I would say that kind of looks like ketchup or whatever because, again, there's no swelling and you still see blood that's there. Like, come on now. Uh, standing behind her, a man holds a knife to a captive's throat. Mommy, I've been kidnapped, Mommy, and I don't know why, sobs the young woman in the frame. Uh, you can't say anything to the police. If you do, they'll kill me. Okay, sure. But the supposed victim's life was never actually in danger, authorities say. In effect, she faked the whole thing. I guess that's a link to the video. Don't really need to see it, even though it's all fake and YouTube's kind of retarded. Okay. The 30-year-old woman and four others were arrested in the Spanish island of Tenefre. Okay, the Civil Guard said in a statement over an alleged plot to yeah, sorry, extort i don't know why that was so difficult a ransom payment out from the arrested woman's mother the survey uh oh the surreal plot involved using fake blood to bolster the con's realism yeah we could kind of tell that like that looked fucking cheap as shit it just kind of looked like smeared lipstick if we're being completely honest she added the clip uh, that she'd been deprived of food we can see those double chins and we know that that's clearly not the case uh and wouldn't be released until the gang that kidnapped her received a fifty thousand dollar ransom this, again just rich white women here come on now Oh, uh, when her worried mother received the blood-curdling clip, the concerned parent duly withdrew the cash to pay the ransom. Incredibly, investigators would later discover that the mother had already made similar payments totaling $45,000 on three previous occasions uh, when she'd received menacing letters threatening the life of her daughter, the Civil Guard uh, said in a statement. Now, were these different events, or were these three separate events leading up to the claim that she needs $50,000 to get released? You know you're in a scam when, okay, the local authorities centered the investigation on the partner of the real victim's daughter and uncovered uh, that his family was involved in the kidnapping plot, the Times reported. Although the case was initially treated as a real kidnapping, officers quickly found the supposed victim was fine and free to come and go as she liked yeah but come on there was somebody standing behind her with a knife you can kind of see that you can at least see the arm right there but it was a real knife and a real phony setup whether authorities arrested the group over the alleged scheme oh i'm sorry when the uh, authorities uh, arrested the group over the alleged scheme uh, the woman in the clip and her accused co-conspirators were living it up at a slot machine casino oh my god Scamming your mom to buy fucking scratch-off tickets? Ugh, should be shot. Civil Guard investigators also found the fake blood and the knife used in the video. They now face charges including extortion and other offenses, with an extortion charge alone carrying a sentence between one and five years of imprisonment in Spain. Yeah, and you'll have something else, you know, hard and sharp held behind you for the next one to five years. God bless, God bless. But that's not it. Now we got some on the American side. American woman faked uh, kidnapping to bleed parents for cash, say cops. What's wrong with these fucking broads? 27-year-old woman from Washington, D.C. ran into trouble in India when her passport expired and money ran out after hooking up with a man she met online. Oh, my God. These women. Oh, my God. Unfucking believable the daughter of a former u.s army officer had been forced in india for oh had been arrested in india sorry for allegedly faking her own kidnapping in an elaborate plan to extort money from her parents it again involves her fucking parents oh my god just oh uh, even at 27 year old okay so we have a 30 year old who again just can't take responsibility for her actions and then we have chloe mclaughlin 27 was arrested by a new delhi district police sunday who found her living with an internet hookup boyfriend oh my god and you went to india india of all fucking places in order to 
Hook up with a guy who's in fucking tech support? Get out of here. Cops said they had unraveled the scheme after the mother er, contacted the U.S. Embassy received a distressing call in which McLaughlin uh, reportedly said she was being assaulted and living in an unsafe environment. Well, if you're from New Delhi, okay, it could just by virtue of being in New Delhi an unsafe environment, okay, especially if this is a liberal white woman who's accustomed to living in fucking Washington, D.C., yeah, I would say. Uh, McLaughlin contacted her parents on July 10th during a video call over WhatsApp. Okay, cool. Help me, I'm being held against my will, but I'm still using WhatsApp? The fuck? A man walked into a room and the call dropped. Her mother told the U.S. Embassy, which was contacted a local authorities after concluding the woman was being held against her will. Oh, of course, because my little baby wouldn't do anything like that. Embassy officials uh, used information from an email she had previously sent to renewing her passport to try and find her, which led them to the Radisson Blue Hotel. Oh, okay, so they were at a Radisson in New Delhi? It's probably pretty nice. Uh, police raided the hotel only to discover that the woman had been a guest there and she had used the hotel's free Wi-Fi, <laughs> according to Amarutha Gugaloth. That doesn't look like a real name. Uh, Deputy Commissioner of Police in New Delhi. In order to ascertain the present whereabouts of the girl, assistance uh, was sought from Yahoo.com. Uh, we tried to ask Jeeves for help, but he could not assist us uh, for uh, providing the IP address used by her for sending email f to uh, the American Citizen Services on July 9th, he told reporters. Further, the Bureau of Immigration I uh, was requested to provide her immigration form to find her whereabouts. Oh, this gets even more hilarious. Police working at the U.S. Embassy had traced the young woman's IP from the video. They found she was staying with 31-year-old Nigerian national Okafor Chikabu uh, Okoro. She... They were running a, a fucking Nigerian scam in New Delhi. This has, it, you couldn't draw up a more hack scenario than this. This is fucking wild. Uh, she had met online with whom she had claimed connected in early May over a mutual love of music. You're telling me you had to go to fucking New Delhi to meet up with a Nigerian national. You couldn't find any black guys to fuck in Washington, D.C. Stop it. Stop. Get some help. Stop it. When the police attempted to arrest Okoro, McLaughlin repeatedly confessed to having staged a kidnapping after running out of money. Oh my god. And you fleeced your fucking parents. This is why if I ever have kids, I'm I'm just not having a girl, okay? I just can't do this. I, I just couldn't fucking live with this scenario. Uh, they now face charges of over, overstaying in India without a valid passport and visa. Oof. No other charges will be filed in India, police say. After her rescue, it was revealed that she had staged the incident to blackmail her parents. Oh my fucking god. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, you need to be playing or paying close attention to what your kids are doing. Even, you know, like these aren't even kids. This is a 27-year-old broad, okay, and a 30-year-old fucking brainlet as well. But yeah, nice, short, sweet, and to the point on that one. Not really much more to add on that other than women will do literally anything to get out of their own responsibility to avoid taking accountability for their actions. So with all of that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.